मुगे बाब भाव आज हंगा प्रोडंट स्टुडियो या स्पेशल प्रोग्राम एक खाशि टीम आसा गोई की फर्स्ट गोन रोबोटिक्स टीम एट इंटरनेशनल लेवल जैसे नाव जो आसा लेगो गोवा एक्सिम टीम तुर्गे वंगड़ी जे आसा ते वंगड़ा इ टाइम ये कर स्पेंड कर वंगड़ा कि वॉट इज सो स्पेशल अबाउट दीज थिंग दैट दे आर डूइंग इन रोबोटिक्स एंड वाय आर दे डूइंग ऑल ऑफ दीस एट दीस एज इज समथिंग दैट वी कैन फाइंड आउट इन दीस प्रोग्राम ओके सो गाइज वेलकम टू द शो Who all do we have here? We have uh, Venkatesh, then we have Shonak, Sai Pranav, and Viraj. So great to have you on the show, and um, let's get started. अतः ये तुम्ही Lego Goa अनि Exum FTC ये अमी जा एक ता through the press reports about your team and all of that. ये FTC भी कितने मशहूर संस्था था उनका तुम्ही? What is FTC बने? हाँ. तो how Venkatesh अनि एफटीसी एफटीसी एफ टी सी पैली हाँ टीम टीमी इंट्रोड्यूस कर सोता तो आम टीम लेगो गो एक्जिम ती दोन हजार अठरान आम लेगो ये लेगो रोबोटिक्स भी आसता पे परस्यू करता आनी वेरियस कॉम्पिटिशन पार्टिसिपेट के लेगो गोवा इज अ टीम ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ एंथुजियास हू लव रोबोटिक्स and you know the, we are from goa and we are very energetic we love to participate in robotics competitions especially tar ata ami ftc in dive kariya so ftc manje um, first tech challenge and ftc ja asa um, te amche all around 30 to 40 years pehli um, ek first monun non profit organization te organize karta So they have been uh, made 30 to 40 years ago. They and the founders are Woody Flowers and Dean Kamen. So first organizes many competitions such as the first uh, robotics challenge okay. and this uh, the competition that we have participated in is the first tech challenge. So okay. the first tech challenge and you can build a team of up to 15 member and magir tatu nami you know. a lot of us like uh, we distribute roles among ourselves ani magir ami you know ashe um, we build the robot and then we code it but besides this we have a lot of more things uh, ftc in chikpa sarkya sa tar okay. um, public speaking skills sa confidence developing peer you know peer learning mm -hmm. and in ftc basically we build a robot as you know and in ftc after building a robot we compete head to head in an alliance format from which i mean khub kira shikta just just like team work ani team bonding and we have a lot of fun along the journey handling pressure handling yes. failures setbacks all of that yeah so you have been having an exciting journey yes very fantastic much. fantastic so uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the vision and about uh, lego goa i mean uh, you know what got you guys started on it and uh, you know what is your whole objective behind this lego goa team tar amchi team lego goa ji asanai tar our main aim is to go on society in to create awareness about this robotics kidak sadya kai third awareness na robotics achi tar we want more students to join with us along this journey mm -hmm. and you know ami competition jache khub awareness spread kartli and we were planning to you know spread stem which my friend will elaborate on later on okay, okay. yeah okay okay so you have some uh, good objective behind it all right so uh, who can explain about the stem and why do we need awareness about this robotics and uh, all this stuff among our people so stem stands for science technology engineering and mathematics oh okay So I have seen that many of my friends have a fear of maths and science. Mm -hmm. These subjects may are assumed that they are very difficult. This is because there is no practical implementation of these concepts at least at school level. Okay, okay. So with FTC we gained a lot of skills in this journey mm -hmm. such as as he said communication and like different skills such as electronics mechanisms coding building the robot as well as we learned how to solve problems mm -hmm. very important yes right. so 
FTC is a competition where you have to build your own robot and code it to perform a series of functions and tasks. So it must be a, a very lengthy process, right? To try yes. something, it works, sometimes does not work. Yes. Then you write the code, some part of it works, some part of it malfunctions, you get a bug and then you have to go through a lot of testing. Yes. Is that a boring process? Or? It's fun because we have yeah. some breaks in the middle where we enjoy and we play around. Oh, you have fun too. So it's not like you are nerds who are just glued to your robot and your computer. No. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. So, uh, Sai Pranav, can you tell us about uh, the journey of LEGO Goa so far and uh, what have been the key milestones along the way? Uh, in our journey, we have learned lots of things and our journey can be categorized into several milestones. Mm -hmm. First, we raised awareness about ourselves as a team, that we were yeah. newcomers and that we needed help from more experienced older teams. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, luckily one famous team which had won last year's FTC called Team Sigma, okay. which is from Mumbai, helped us out. Achha. They reached out a helping hand to us and they taught us very important skills. Achha. Like Achha. 3D designing, okay. mm -hmm. robot building and coding. This allowed us to set up a foundation for our robot and code. Oh, fantastic. Okay, okay. And when you say they won uh, the FTC challenge last year, you mean they won the international, the global challenge? Uh, no, nationally. They, uh, they were representing India last year. India. So they were the India champions. Yes. And they were your mentors. Yes. Wow. And you're the first FTC team from Goa. Mm -hmm. Man, that makes it super special. Wonderful. Okay. And now, uh, all of these robotics and all, looking at your robot uh, that I have uh, seen so far, must be quite expensive business, right? Must be involving a lot of money and all of that. So how you guys have been managing it? Uh, are you pestering your parents for money or are you putting your pocket money into it? Or what are you doing? Uh, so our main yeah. goal huh. was not to trouble our parents with the money mm -hmm. and we thought of raising money on our own. So we got several sponsors and we conducted several workshops around and in Gova. Oh, okay. I'll give you an example of some places such as Panjim, Porvorim, Ponda, Margao, Vasco. So, like we, uh, and I like to thank the uh, Chief Minister, uh, Dr. Pramod Savant, because he sponsored us rupees 2 lakhs. Oh, and I also fantastic. thank all of the sponsors such as Tempos and Nano Resorts for helping us go ahead with our journey and for sponsoring us. Oh, so you have had a different uh, channels or sources for your funding. Yes. And that's how you managed it. Yes. You're sure? Yes. You did not trouble your parents for some money? No. Yeah? Okay, that's good. I think that's a very good uh, input to the rest of Goan kids and your inspirations for them. Okay, so uh, now you explain about how you went about collecting funds. Now, along with that, did you do any kind of outreach, uh, kind of helping some uh, poor kids or, you know, remote schools or you know, far away uh, village schools, kids of which may not have exposure or, you know, availability or access to such kind of uh, technology. Did you do any such things? Because Panjim Purvoni is nearby. Did you go any places beyond that? Yes, so, I'm just outreach mm -hmm. They could essential ashile FTC fund series Kurpak. Uh -huh. So, we raised a lot of fund like around 42,000. Hmm. Yes. Okay. So, okay. we were glad we raised a lot of funds. So, we were glad that we had media impressions like almost around you know, 1 lakh plus. And we also reached out to more than 500 students uh, from various cities of Goa, as he mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we conducted, um, some people invited us to conduct at their place and gave us free space to, you know, okay, conduct okay. the workshop. So, one of the famous outreach is the Goa Science Center, which is the National Science Week. So, we have to organize it. We have to do it just to brief on the FTC robot demo. Okay. So, we have and we had so much good response, more than 250 people had come to watch our um, demo over there. Fantastic. Um, and you have been present here for the, in Panjim for the Science Film Festival yes. of India. And so, how the was the response there? Yeah. So, recently the yeah. Science Film Festival was going on at INOX at the time of this interview. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, 
it was a very good response amka khub school jani you know they attended us and they clapped for us uh, the teachers were very happy that we are we are having such a good initiative so it was a wonderful experience at sai fantastic now besides the cities that you mentioned did you go to any villages any islands crossed any ferries and all <laughs> तर शोराव आयलैंड गेली ओ रियली ओके सो एट शोराव आयलैंड वी आल्सो यू नो एनकरेज अ फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स टू यू नो गो विथ अस एंड सी द एफ टी सी आगे फुड़ा वर्षा तक टीम वी आर वी आर प्लैनिंग टू तक ट्रेन कर सोता आगेर यू नो Uh, they can uh, step further with us okay i also recently read in the newspapers that you went to kanka in mapsa yeah right so and um, some uh, punch member organized that is something that makes it special that a punch member from a village or whatever suburban area invited you yeah something you'd like to share about that because so at verla kanka um hmm. basically what happened is that they provided a space and we went there and we did, i mean i'm so usual demo kelo mm -hmm. ani ami tanka tanka encourage kele ani you know tanka e sangle we spread uh, awareness about robotics tar ashe bare dista jenna bhurgyang kalta mm -hmm. uh, like awareness creates ata amcha society oh, yeah, yeah. about this robotics and all because it's not known that much right ani mm -hmm. tumka ki dista goincha bhurgya an sort of gaungire watarantle bhurgya interest asa robotics an aso dista excitement asa when they see your demo the way you present the, do you see tanka excitement asa but they uh. don't get the hands on experience right so hmm. we hmm. we gave them a hands on experience and their smiles Uh, they yeah, got to play with your robot yes oh fantastic okay so uh, you seem to have quite a uh, storied uh, journey so far so what have been the key milestones or accomplishments of your team uh, sai pranav uh, so our team has had a lot of success mm -hmm. because we put in a lot of hard work so we were able to come into the semi finals in our first year of ftc that was now in march right yes Fantastic. In the Pune Nationals. And you are the first team from Goa. Yes. And you made it that far. Yes. That's awesome, awesome. Okay. And besides that, uh, any others? That we even got the Motivate Award for the Raman Division. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. Which is a special team award we got. Right, right, right. Fabulous, fabulous. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Uh yeah. Uh, considering the fact that we were uh, a beginner team, hmm. even uh, we didn't expect to come this far, but we were able to get. Four out of our six matches, we were able to win. You four. won four out of six. Yes. Super, super. Do you have your player over here, the ro robo player here, or he's missing? Yeah. Ah, you. Oh wow. So both of us. Ah, both, both of, of, us. of you. Oh, we yeah. both are the drivers. Okay, okay you are the drivers. Yes. Okay. And, and how was that experience facing international teams and, and the pressure of that moment and all? You enjoyed it, or how was it? uh it was pretty good uh, uh we were able to learn a lot but we had to practice a lot look. we had to figure out how to react instantly to unexpected situations mm -hmm. to remain calm under that pressure because there was constant screaming around in that stadium <laughs> like cheering yes, screaming yes. and all right so these are priceless exposures you have got you yes. cherish this and it adds a lot of value to your life okay fantastic so now Uh, what has been the impact of all this work because you must have put a lot of your time which otherwise you would have poured maybe playing games on the mobile or you know meeting up friends or being on instagram i'm sure you have put uh, invested a lot of that into this lego goa and your ftc robo and all of that yeah what's the impact that you see so uh, ftc mule na amcha sagla team members cha oh. professional ani personal skills develop jale okay. ani yacha mule saglyan varti ek positive impact ala आणि एफ टी सी मध्ये आम्हाला खूप वेगळ्या नवीन स्किल्स शिकायला मिळाल्या जसं की कोडिंग आहे रोबोट बिल्डिंग आहे आणि अजून एक आहेत की एफ टी सी च्या एका टीमला खूप कामं असतं आता जसं व्यंकटेशने सांगितलेलं की थोडे डॉक्युमेंटेशन करत होते थोडे रोबोट बिल्डिंग करत होते थोडे कोडिंग करत होते तर आम्ही सगळ्यांचे सगळ्या टीम मेंबर्सचे स्ट्रेंथ बघितले त्यांचे इंटरेस्ट बघितले आणि तसं ते रोज डिवाइड केले आणि एक इम्पॉर्टंट पॉइंट आहे की जेव्हा केव्हा आम्ही नवीन रोबोट बनवायचो तेव्हा काहीतरी इश्यू असायचा कधी स्लायडर नाही चालायचं कधी कोड मे बी थोडासा चुकलेला तर हे फिक्स करण्यासाठी आम्हाला खूप थिंकिंग करावं लागायचं आणि एफ टी सीने आमचं क्रिएटिव्ह थिंकिंग सुद्धा खूप वाढवलंय बट मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंटली एफ टी सी मुळे आमची टीम मध्ये कसं काम करायचं हे आम्हाला कळालं विच इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट थिंग्स इन द रिअल वर्ल्ड 
Fantastic, fantastic. Priceless experiences at your age. It's going to play a huge role in your life ahead as professionals. Going to make you, what do you guys call, a gracious professional? Yes. No? Okay, fantastic. Now, now, we spoke about how you gain as a team and individually and all of that, but uh, as a, if I were your parent, I would have been probably worried what's the, you know, what's going to happen to the studies because finally this is your school going age. You haven't graduated to have free time to do what you want, right? So you have your school obligations. So what's the impact on your studies? Um, through FTC, we were able mm. to learn many practical, mathematical and scientific theories and knowledge. Really? Yeah. What you have in your curriculum at the school? Yes. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, and since we got a practical uh, use of them, mm. we didn't have to question them like our friends did. <laughs> okay, so you learned through this hands-on yes. exposure. Okay, okay. I think uh, Shonok earlier was talking about science, yeah. maths being boring and difficult or perceived as difficult by school yeah. students. But uh, with such kind of exposure and hands-on working with technology and all, then uh, those things could become exciting, no? Yeah. Yeah, could be a potential solution to make school more attractive. Yeah, it is true uh -huh. that FTC took up a lot of our time, uh -huh. but we were able to manage our time efficiently. And that is also a very key skill to us, which we'll be still using time going management. forward in the forward. You mean time management? Yeah. yeah. Man, uh, it feels like I'm talking to some IT professionals here rather than school kids. Fantastic. Okay. Now, after all of this, where are you guys headed next? I mean, you have had so much of success and uh, you being the first team from Goa, you have reached the semifinals of FTC this year at your first shot. What comes next? I see great mountains to be scaled ahead, but would like to hear from you. So, first of all, we want to increase the amount of robotics in Goa. Mm -hmm. Since this year, we were the only team to take part from Goa. Yeah. We are sponsoring the Shore of Kids uh, like a, uh, to come with us. Mm -hmm. We are taking them to Pune this year, as I mentioned. Right. I'm grateful for that. Thank yeah. you. And uh, we are hoping to help them become a team so they can come next year uh, to FTC. Fantastic. We are also hoping are to represent that. India huh. next year. This okay. time we made it the semi-finals. We yes. want to uh, win it and maybe go to the uh, Fabulous. Wishing you the very best, very best. Now, uh, if I may ask you, uh, what are your most cherished memories out of this whole journey of Lego Goa Axiom, FTC? Uh, Who would like to share the most adventurous or most uh, memorable thing? Yeah. Sir, I um, my best memory actually at FTC mm -hmm. journey. In, that was I mean, especially able kids a workshop conduct kello at Sanjay School Porvari. Uh -huh. So that was the best memory for me. And you know, their happiness, their smile, that mm -hmm. they got the hands-on experience of a robot. And it happened with Tancha Poyla time, Tanka Sle Robotics Special at the Kaburut Nashile. Thor Amka Koop Bare this legend, that this smile, their smiles were everything for us. Thor Maka, that was my best that. journey, uh, like best memory of this journey. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. What about the others? Some musty making memories anybody has? <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing a curveball at you. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So, we had a part called the scouting team huh. in the competition huh. where we have to go to other and various teams and we have to ask them like some questions and gather some information and the strategies of that particular team. Kind of spy work. Yeah, it was uh, just remember, like spying. Yeah. Okay. We have to take their work without sharing our work and Ooh. our information and get okay. their strategies. Okay, okay. So, that, that was a very fun that thing That sounds to do. like James Bond stuff. Okay, cool. Anybody, uh, any other memory? Uh, so, one thing I remember mm -hmm. was a few days before our competition, our control hub stopped working. And okay. the control hub is pretty much the most yeah, important yeah, yeah. part of our robot. Kind of the brain, no? Of yeah, the whole thing. it yeah, is yeah. supposed to be the brain. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, how did you salvage the situation? Then we were trying to contact uh, tech support, or the tech support was from America. So and while we are awake, yeah, they are asleep. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. They did not have a Hyderabad center? No. no. Okay. <laughs> so then okay. we had to call them at like 1 o'clock in the night and try to discuss with them what was the issue. Okay, 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 okay. But so you finally managed yeah. to solve it, yeah? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, Viraj, any uh, memories from you? Yeah, so, Maja Sati Sagrat, best memory was that I uh, normally was a match, the score was a big screen. 
पण आमच्या रमण डिव्हिजनसाठी काहीतरी टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लेम असल्यामुळे आम्हाला लास्ट दिवशी सगळे सहाही राऊंड झाले त्यानंतर कळायला आमचा रँकिंग काय आणि आम्ही खूप इगर होतो की आम्हाला कसला रँक मिळाला आणि आम्ही खूपच आनंद आनंदाने भरून आलो जेव्हा आम्हाला कळालं की आम्ही सेमीफायनलिस्ट पर्यंत पोहोचलो आहे सो इट वॉज लाईक अ लॉंग वेट अँड देन कमिंग टू नो रिझल्ट ओके यू चॅर इज दॅट फॅन्टॅस्टिक ओके ना वॉट हॅज बीन युअर पॅरंट्स रोल इन दिस होल जर्नी लाईक डू दे लाईक यू डुईंग ऑल द स्टाफ ऑर दे फील इट्स अ बर्डन वॉट इज द जनरल फिलिंग इन सपोर्ट सगळ्यात मोठा प्रॉब्लेम होता की गोव्यात बिकॉज वी आर द फर्स्ट टीम इकडे कोणी अजून मेंटर्स नव्हते किंवा कोचेस नव्हते एफ टी सी साठी म्हणून आम्हाला काही एफ टी सीचं काही एक्सपोजर नव्हतं सो आमच्या एका टीम मेंबरच्या पालकांनी टीम मेंटर म्हणून व्हॉलंटिअर केलं तसंच अजून दोन तीन टीम मेंबरच्या पालकांनी टीम मॅनेजरची जबाबदारी घेतली आणि थोडे पालक तर टीम मॅनेज टीम आउटरीच फंड रेझिंग ह्याच्यासाठी सुद्धा मदत करत होते पण सगळे पालक टीमच्या प्रोग्रेससाठी खूप व्हायटल होते व्हेरी नाईस सो इन अ वे युअर पॅरंट्स हॅव बीन लाईक युअर बडीज अँड वर्किंग अलॉंग विथ यू फॉर द सक्सेस ऑफ लाईक गोवा फॅन्टॅस्टिक दॅट दॅट्स फॅन्टॅस्टिक ओके लास्ट थिंग व्यंकटेश बाब एनी मेसेज यू वॉन्ट टू शेअर विथ द चिल्ड्रन ऑफ गोवा रिगार्डिंग वॉट यू हॅव बीन डुईंग अँड वॉट यू लाईक टू सी इन दॅम हय तर इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस फन जर्नी तर आमची एक वेबसाईट असा डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट लेगो गोवा डॉट इन ओके तर त्या वेबसायटीचेर तुमकां फॉर्माक ऍक्सेस मेळटलो जो तुम्ही भरून मागीर यू कॅन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस फन जर्नी आणि आमच यू ऑर यू कॅन कॉन्टॅक्ट आर कोच मिस्टर साईश गांधी जो तुमकां डिटेल्स दितलो की आम्ही किदे लर्न करतली आणि यु नो टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द सक्सेस विथ अस तर So I, the invitation yeah. is open yes, to all those full. who are excited about robotics to join mm. you. And this is for students of 7 to 12th. Yes, it's FTC and 7 to 12th. Okay, okay, okay. Fantastic. So I really enjoyed uh, talking to you guys and understanding so many things that I wasn't uh, aware earlier about. So, I want to say that I want to say that you are enjoying it and you are enjoying it and you are enjoying it and you are हे स्कूल गोईंग एजीर तांनी इतले एक्सपोजर घेतला इतले तांकां एक्सपिरियन्सीस मेळला हँड्स ऑन एक्सपिरियन्सीस वीच आर गोईंग टू बी यूजफुल स्किल्स फॉर देअर लाईफ अहेड अँड गोईंग टू ग्रूम दॅम इन टू ग्रेट प्रोफेशनल्स अँड आय थिंक तुमच्या सामकार हे जे चार भुरगे बशिल्ले असतात अँड दे आर पार्ट ऑफ अ बिगर टीम ऑफ फोर्टीन सो ऑल ऑफ दिस फोर्टीन बॉयज इन अ वे आर इन्स्पिरेशन अँड रोल मॉडल्स फॉर चिल्ड्रन ऑफ गोवा टू पर्स्यू करियर्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ स्टॅम दॅट इज सायन्स टेक्नॉलॉजी इंजिनिअरिंग अँड मॅथमॅटिक्स अँड आय थिंक दॅट इज वॉट गोवा अँड इंडिया नीड्स द मोस्ट and uh, we hope that you accept the invitation of lego goa team to come and join them and uh, we have maybe a dozen teams in couple of years in goa and then we'll compete among each other yeah that will be a lot of fun right yeah okay so now we'll switch over to a small uh, demo of the uh, real uh, you know premium and high end uh, ftc robo and uh, you'll get to see what this robot is all about so we'll get into that ओके okay, आता आम्ही दोन मिनटा भर वो जो लेगो गोवा एक्सियूम टीमीचो एफ टी सी रोबोट आता हाचो एक क्वीक डेमो पड़न घके लेट द रोबोट कमेन ओके कम्स वाह ओ माय गॉड दिस लुक्स मॉन्स्टर्स मैन एंड अ कॉम्प्लेक्स पीस ऑफ इंजिनियरिंग सो वॉट एक्जेक्टली इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट यू हैड टू सॉल्व एज पार्ट ऑफ द चैलेंज मीन वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस रोबोट So yes. this robot uh, is for uh, putting the cones which is this uh-huh. which okay. is a game element into these poles. Okay. So, so the cones are normally here is what I understand. Yeah. yeah in the front side. Okay. So uh, there are various poles and which are called junctions uh-huh. and these are game elements. Okay. They are worth points. So this which is the high junction right. is worth 5 points. Okay. There is a medium junction which is worth 4 points, a low junction 3 points okay. and as well as a ground junction which is worth 2 points. Okay so now that we have understood the function of this robot let's lo- uh, look at how you went about achieving this function like what kind of mechanisms you used kya controls kya use kiye kya kiya iska yeah sai pranav uh, so we have several mechanisms in place in our robot uh-huh. uh, we have a claw which we used to grab our cones right yeah something like this yes. okay yes 
then we have a um, small uh, cone holder there uh -huh. which holds uh -huh. our cones yeah, normally, normally like this yeah. yes and uh, from there we have a slider mm -hmm. which goes up and we drop the cone on the pole on the pole oh okay, okay. all right Sounds interesting. Sound in, uh, sounds interesting. Now, the thing is, I noticed as your robot was coming in, it was doing uh, some funky movement. Like uh, it moved straight and then suddenly started sliding uh, or drifting to the side. I'm wondering how exactly you achieved that because your wheels look a little funny to me. Yeah, so these wheels are known as mechanism wheels. Uh -huh. They're not like your normal wheels because they have uh, many tires mm -hmm. uh, which are in barrel shape. Uh, mounted at a 45 degree angle and this way when they move they can cancel out the forces of each other and move in uh, move sideways as we had uh, demonstrated okay okay so one day hopefully we could have uh, such kind of wheels on cars and parking would no longer be an issue okay now the thing is uh, here i see uh, you know this uh, cones and some plastic parts uh, did you guys buy this online is it ready made stuff or did you guys go about making it on your own how did you manage uh, so we 3D printed most of this. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Team Sigma helped us out and yeah, taught yeah. us the 3D designing skill. 3D designing, okay. Yes, okay. so we would design these things using computer-aided mm -hmm. designing softwares. Then we would print them using our own 3D printer which we bought. Oh, then wow. we would, uh, uh, sometimes it would take several time tries to print the robot part. Mm -hmm. But then we were eventually able to get, figure out the hang and get used to printing our parts on our own. Fantastic. I, I hear you started with some uh, uh, noodle uh, cup or something like that. Is that true? Yes. Uh, originally, before we could 3D designing properly, uh -huh. as a small replacement to hold our cone, we were using a cuppa noodle box. Here? Yes. Right here? Oh, wow. Fantastic. So, great, great. All right. Now, what else? Now, I'm wondering with so many different mechanisms, so many uh, cables and wires and controllers and whatnot, did you guys just figure all this out in your head or did you just work it out with pen and uh, you know paper or how did you manage? So we documented this um, engineering notebook. So it's like a 200 page notebook. And in hand, you know, we had all important features of our robot. Basically, it's like here. See? Wow. And all this documentation you guys did? Yeah, we did it. Fantastic. fantastic. So we also maintained weekly logs and all that thing stuff to make it. Professional this. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> great, great. Okay. Fabulous, fabulous. I wish we had more time to show show you guys a lot more about this robot, but that is all we have. And I would like to thank the Lego Go Axiom team for an amazing job with this super robot here. Wish you all the best for the competitions and days ahead. Yeah, and greater heights of success. Thank you guys. Thank you.